Hey everybody, how are you? Um, for those who don't know me, my name's Amy. Um, I know that a lot of my family and friends would be watching this right now, so hi. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, so today, I should do a little bit of explaining. Um, so today I am going to do a painting but videoing it. So... Um, I have a Facebook page, it's called Amy Studio, um, and that's basically where I have posted lots of stuff about my drawings, resin, um, where are they? Drawings, so, uh, oh, this little guy, I've drawn this little guy, my little slothy. Um, I've been doing lots of drawings for people I did a drawing for a lady who wanted two little puppy dogs combined into the one image um, she absolutely loved it um, brought a tear to her eye um, it was so beautiful uh, one of the pups had just passed away so it was even more special um, but I can do stuff like that um, as I'm still practicing, so do bear with me. I'm always happy to take on the constructive criticism to try and make my images so much better. Um, I also am doing some resin at the moment. I am ordering in some bottle openers. Um, what else am I getting in? Bottle openers, trolley tokens, and with some little earring studs to work on. Um, and hopefully they come very soon. I'm going to make a few and then post them out. And if you like anything, or even if you want one, message me. I am so happy to help you out and make my day. Um... Is there anything else I'm making? That's all at the moment. Like, I've got the key rings at the moment, the coasters. I've also got Christmas ornaments, although that's a little bit early. Uh, what else have I got? Numbers and little pendants. Um, but I'm still working out my jewellery, so do bear with me. I do have some more jewellery stuff coming that will make it so much easier. Um, and then my other thing that I've, other things that I've posted on my page, um, are my photography sessions. I haven't done many. Um, a lot of my friends want me to do some wedding photos, which I am so excited to do. Um, I'm looking at doing my photography course very, very soon. Um, but today is a drawing. I need to find it. There it is. So today, oh sorry, not drawing. Today's painting, I am going to use a photo I've taken. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but that's the photo I'm going to be painting today. Make it a little bit more personal, painting one of my photos and kind of just making a tutorial about it. Um... I haven't poured, I've only poured my blue so far, um, but the colours that I'm thinking about using today will be blue, definitely red, um, some yellow, which is behind, and black, which is also behind. I can't move that at the moment because my phone's being supported by it. So... Let's get started. Um, so I would just like to say that um, today I'm using a egg carton for my painting. I do have a um, palette somewhere, but my house is a bit chaotic at the moment, so can't really get to it. Um... But I just thought, I did get the idea off Facebook, I think it was, um, just to reuse my egg cartons. I know some people reuse them for, like, plants and stuff, which one day I will. Um, 
but I thought it was like really a sustainable idea instead of just chucking them straight out why not use them for something else um but yes like you can even use newspaper plates but I thought this was a bit more sustainable so anyway my colors are ready to be mixed let's pump out the brand head I have brand new paint brushes don't get me started on what happened to my old ones I don't even know what happened to my old ones anyway I have some awesome new paint brushes to work with and even some palette knives these probably won't be today though um got them down I can't remember what the shop was called but I was down in Camden visiting my dad and I seen these babies and I was like they are mine so let's get them out So I just seen something on the packaging of the one of the paintbrush packets, which I thought was it's really helpful and useful for me. But I thought it would be for you guys too. So I might take a photo of it and post it up. But it's got information on the different brushes and how to use them. Um which is perfect i'm going to keep that but yeah i'm definitely definitely going to post a photo up about the different brushes and the way they work all right um my little sidekick i decided to come and join us um this is bradley you want to say hi 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 <laughs> he is my stepson and he is a good helper and he loves to paint as well so I think I might have to get him some paint and some paper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow. Okay, let's get started. So I have my... You got red. Good job. So I've got my camera here. Let's begin. So, I'm going to use this one, I think. Right, we need to mix the colours. So I'm going to start off at the top. The lighter colour of, so it's like a grey, whitey blue. So I get a bit of blue. Get some red. Right, and then I'm just going to make strokes. So I've just done majority of the page because it's a lighter colour, so like I can go over it. Um, the next colour I'm going to mix is probably... Probably the lighter orange, so I'll go and do that. So I'm just going to get a little bit of red and orange to mix it together. So I think I'm thinking about doing two different oranges, a bit of a darker one. Okay, it says. So, kind of dark. Ooh. I might just add a bit of white in there. Just had to get some more white. White? More light. More light. I see ornaments. I see ornaments. Just 
So, just like a light. Where's my pink? Color. It's almost like God. tan skin. Not tan. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start from probably the middle of the blue and go down. There's a car. There's a car. So I'm just going to go right down to the bottom and get it all the way down. Okay. Alright, so I kind of want to blend it a bit, so I'm just going to trial with some sponge. So kind of just in there. Oh, it's fun, we say. Right. And then just adding a bit more orange. So there we have blended together our colours, so our light blue and our white orange. Alright, I'm going to go into my darker colours now. So I'm going to get my brush and we are going, and we are going to... Get our blue and red to make some purple. So my big question is, do I go more ready or more bluey? I think I'm gonna go more bluey just because it's the sky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a really, really, really dark purple. I'm not going to add any white. And just going to have another look at my photo. So kind of go from black to kind of like a bluey, darky bluey, and then to the purpley and blue. So what I'm going to do is use this dark purple for that like lower dark color. I'm just going to start down the bottom, work my way up a little bit. I'm going to definitely go over this, I think, because I probably should have started with the light purple. Actually, I might start with the light purple. So, right, I'm going to make my dark purple a bit lighter. I am going to make some more dark purple later. So, I'm going to get my white paint. No paint. And mix that together. So it's probably a bit too light now. It's all right. We can fix that up. So. Need my picture so I know what I'm working with. I like, kind of like that color actually. So I'm going to go with this color and mix it. So I'm just going to probably start about a third of the way from the bottom and I'm just going to work my way down. 
kind of like a layering technique. Um, I love colours. Just to blend the colours. But um, it's not the finishing touch. So I think that might be my purple starting point. Um, it's not really blended in the photo. I mean, there's bits going up, which I will work on in a minute. So I'm just going to get this all onto, like, covered with the purple colour. Don't mind my, um, terms. I know there's probably more professional terms, but this is just me. Make, making my stuff a bit more unique. So, just kind of want a line for that purple. Just to make it a bit more like the photo. Hopefully, a bit more natural right so here's what i've done it's like a light light purple but um just bringing it all together right my photo does keep disappearing on me so do bear with me right now we kind of want to go for that i think i might do that darker purple now so what I'm going to do to make the darker purple is I'm just going to get a bit of that lighter purple and mix it with some blue. Ooh, whoa. Um, I just feel like that's more blend, blends more um, instead of using black because it's the same colour, just darker. So I'm going to get my blue oops oops that's not blue amy i dropped my paintbrush i got a bit distracted all right so i'm going to get my blue and some of this purple and just start mixing more blue more purple and I'm just going to keep doing this until so set a little bit darker. So this is just going to be where the tree line, like hilly areas begin. So I'm just going to go down a little bit. There. And just make another layer of colour. Kind of just therapeutic, um, creating layers and layers of colour. That's why I like creating kind of like the sky paintings. You can't go, you can't really go wrong with sky paintings. You could make your own without really needing to refer to a um photo. Yellow, yellow, <gasps> yellow. Um. Just that motion as well, just that Oops. sway motion. Oh, yellow. 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 Alright, so now we've got four colours on the page. And it's like a um, sunset right there. It's like the base of the sunset. 
So, now I need my photo back. Okay, Sorry, okay. it keeps disappearing okay, on okay, me. Okay. Okay. You've got plenty in there, buddy. Love it. Alright, now I think I might. Well, we probably need to let it dry for a little bit. Actually, no, I'll do. I might do a little brightness first. So, right now, I'm going to just make the purple, the lighter purple area. I'm just going to add a bit of my orange to it. Um, so, just on where the... hilly areas begin. I'm just going to make a bit some there. Then I'm going to mix a bit more red with it. So makes it a little bit darker. Maybe some yellow. Do bear with me. My picture keeps disappearing, so I kind of just like decide I'll just yolo it. So I might mix it some white with that it because, like, it the says. middle area it is. Says. It says, Just a bit lighter. So need my photo it again. It says, it I love cowboy. Who's the love? I love cowboy. This. I might go back over that black line a bit with my dark um, purple just to make the line a bit more linier. Oh, I am trying to do it now, but it's a bit tricky. And then I'll just go back over with a yellow. Why is the lights? Turn! So I've kind of just made my own out of this as well. Like I know it's my own photo, but it's a bit different. Um, just get a bit of that lighter, excuse me, lighter purple. Just, it's hard to really say what I'm talking about when I'm doing. Okay. I'm kind of just trying to make the colour look like a sunset as well as okay. flow together. Mm. Like I'm trying to... Mm. How you going? There's paper there, bud. I love how this kid says paper. He calls it pape. It took me a while to um, one, figure out that one. that what it was. This one. You're gonna this use that one. Perfect, buddy. This one. This one. This All right, I'm just. I think I might just let that bit dry. But that's what it looks like at the moment. So this bit is kind of just where. The sun is setting, and then I kind of just want to like put a little dot and maybe some like brightness around it just to show you that it oh, is the sun. Like, um, if not, I could always leave it like that um, and make it look like 
the sun has gone down, like the sun is gone for the day. But um, we'll see what it's like when it dries. Um, so I need my picture again. And this time I'm going to probably use my sponge. So it just get it some says. It says. black paint. And I'm just going to more paint. More paint. Make more paint. some trees. More paint. This paint. This paint. This tape. This tape. Yep, buddy. Good job. It's doing very well over there. Alright. I might just paint along the bottom. This might need another layer. Um, just to go over it. Which we might do. What? No. Soon. Obviously, you need to let it dry, obviously. Um, so just doing that bottom layer. Because the page is quite wet, doing layer by layer. So, now that I've got that layer, I'm just going to dab a little. In that valley, a. and then I'm just a. going to try and make a. a more tree. More base, more base, more base. More base. Good job, bud. We'll have to show everyone your paintings. Okay. Everyone's gonna love it. <laughs> Go watch. You always go to um, help out or do what I'm doing. It's really cute. Sorry, I might not have to do another layer. Just bear with me because this paint is actually like looking pretty good. Um, obviously I didn't really use my photo. The photo has a bit more sticks and leaves, but I just thought I could do some tree top type it's a bit easier it's great for um, beginner painters looking for something easy to do oh, my little sidekick's finished alright so actually in that photo I can go a bit higher up Perfect, Bradley. Show us. Come and show us. Oh, my goodness. So this is one. He's done lots of paintings. We have to show you all. Would you like to bring them over here? Please. You want to bring this one over? Alright. So... We've got this one. The white paint. Oh, oh my goodness. What's that a picture of? Red. Oh, you got some red in there. You do too. Blue. And blue? What else? What other colour do you have in there? Uh, yellow. Yellow. <laughs> yeah. So we're mastering our colours at the moment. The then we got this one. So beautiful and colourful, my friend. I'm so colour. Alright, and then these two. High five, champ. Oh, look at those painted hands too. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Would you like to go wash your hands? Yeah. I'm almost finished here, buddy. Right. So I'm just going to do here a bit. That is, that actually satisfies me with the um, trees. Alright, so I might just take a little bit of a break and let that dry and then we'll get back to do our sun air. Hey everybody! Can you say hello? Hi! Oh. <laughs> Hi! Alright, we're back and ready to finish our painting off. It did take a couple of days for me to get back to the painting. Um, it this is it looks pretty good. This is what it looks like. All dry, very cute. So I just want to fix, probably fix up this bit and maybe put a little bit more detail in this bit. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to um, finish this off. Oh, post up this video and let you guys watch it. So exciting! Hey. Oh. Yeah, you, you go get the oh. remote. Alright. So I'm just going to start off. I think I'm going to use a bit of yellow. I've got my smaller brush today. Um, let's go paint on it. My mouth. I'm up. There's smoke. Alright. So... Ow. I'm going to start off with the yellow this time and I'm just going to paint along the bottom where I want the sun to be. And then I'm just going to slowly just add in the purple. I've still got my paint from the other day. It's still still usable. Hey. Bye, Hey. 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 Um, living in um, the cold climate helps keep the paint still going yes. um right yeah so i'm just adding my orange just to uh, sunset it up a little bit Kind of that lighter color. So just kind of trying to blend it in. So you could easily finish it off where I left it the other day. Um, I am just silly and I kept looking at the painting and kind of was going, oh yeah, I'll do this to it. Oh yeah, I'll do that to it. So. Um, here I am fixing it up a little bit. Oh, 
I just wanted to fix up the brush strokes as well. Oops. Add that. Mm -hmm. And I will just So basically I've just looked at it too much and I was like, I'm going to make the um, background a bit darker. I think I need to go mix some more blue. So I'll be back in a second. All right, colors are mixed. Um, I just wanted to point out that I don't actually have the photo of me now. Um, so what I'm doing now is basically off the top of my own head. Um, so I do know, I'm pretty sure the top two colors were lighter. Um, but I kept looking at it, I'm like, I don't like that. So this is me and my OCD. <laughs> so I've done like a dark kind of blue, but it's still light. Um, obviously I could have kept it the way it was. Um, but me and my perfectionism was just like, no. So I'm just going to do the sky. It's still the lighter blue anyway. And then I'm just going to blend the colours together. So go down into that orangey yellow and blend it through and I'm going to put lots like thick layers on so I don't have to come back and um, redo it again because of the paint strokes so just hey. bear with me with my yellows again with my tree line I'm just going to like do a little scrubby dub I might have to get some more black and just go over that again to um so it doesn't look weird and I'm just going to come up into my blue and just make some little strokes and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to bring that yellow up, I think. All right, it's just basically blending. It's like the way you want to have your picture look. So I've got my sun. I kind of just want to make it a bit lighter. So I'm going to get some white. And just shimmy around that, make that lighter, 
and then go into my darker purple. So I'll blend that a little bit just to make the sides come out. Going into the yellow just to help with the lightening and the blending and then going up. Put some purple and just go over here. Go into my blue. This is, I like this better because it's got all the colours going throughout the page. It's not like we started off with a layer by layer, so that was basically our base. You can stay at your base, that's fine. There is no right or wrong in your painting. It's your own unique painting. Again, this is just my OCD, so you can stop at the drawing, back at the drawing point. Obviously, if you're doing it with me, obviously it's probably a bit too late. That's fine. We can work until we like. So I'm just going to hold this up for me to see. I'm just going to get some more blue. I just wanted it to blend. Obviously when we compare it to the photo it's going to be different. But our photo is our focus. And then we can venture from that viewpoint to create our own. I love art. It is all about exploring. And as I said, there's no right or wrong. So I've draped it down a bit. I'm going to go back into my yellows. Look at it in there. I'm just going to do down here a bit more. Obviously my darker blue is not going to change because it's the shadow. Hey. Hey. Yes, buddy. You're hey. right. I'm painting over the black, but that's okay. I don't mind that actually. Eggy. Eggy. I'm just going to get my purple Eggy. again. <laughs> just mix a couple of bit. Yeah, I had to use the red to mix it together, didn't I, Bradley? The purple. Pink. Hello. Cool pedal. Just going to explore with what it would look like if some yellow went up into my blue. This can easily be fixed if I don't like it. What's it a picture of, Bradley? What can you see in the picture? Hey. <laughs> he is correct. Paint. <laughs> Red. Red. Yeah. There's red in the palette, isn't there? Hold it. Hold My um, egg carton palette. Hi. Whack. That was a whack. So. 
want to try and get that darker purple in the picture again. I might use my bigger brush. And it's so cool. Ooh, I'm so excited, it's almost finished. That is pink. Close, it's purple. Pink. And add my blue. You can like stop at any time. It's just me and my perfectionism. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you that every painting I've done, I still look back on and go, "Oh, I could fix that." But I tell myself, "No, Amy, it's finished." And I argue with myself. <laughs> Just going to cross links from this on top of the sticky tape across the page. Get some more blue. Yeah, it's I apologise if I'm not in the camera. But hey. The main thing is just hey. going with the flow. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Paint. Color <laughs> paint. Coloured paint. Ooh. Ooh. There's blue. Good job. The color pink. Ooh. All right. Black. Black. <clears throat> I Bones. now am going to go and pour some black paint. Hey. I'm happy with my sky. Maybe. <laughs> Looking in the camera, I'm just kind of like, I could do this or that. But I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, we've got the sun setting. It's like kind of, it was kind of the element. Um, even. Hey, yeah, No, no, I like that. I'll go get some black paint and finish that black off and then we'll be finished. Right, turns out that I still had black paint. So I'm going to quickly do this. So I'm just going to dab with my sponge again. dab a dab a dab a do oh, no, no. This will be good for the shading because I'll miss some bits. But I'll have some darker paint. Because it's paint. on top of the old paint. Dark paint. And then I'll have some Dark white paint, paint from my initial paint that I had there. So... Hey. Hoping for white. a good little view. I was even, I just even had the thought of maybe drawing some little birds flying. Although my little birds flying are literally the M's that everybody draws. What are the draws. birds? What are the birds? That's so loud. Shh, Bradley. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Good job, though. That's Um, If I try and draw actual birds, I'll probably stuff it up and ruin the whole painting. Oh, cool. Cool, just a minute. So, I think I might be finished. Line up further. Hopefully that was a good idea. Well, Alright. I am going to finish it there, I think. Five so my phone just fell on the paper. Um the kid just what did you do? He just farted. <laughs> Told the whole world. 
So hey. my phone just fell on the page. I'm just using oh, my finger duh. to blend that paint, paint, uh, blah, 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 yeah, paint back to its spot because it left a phone mark. <laughs> Because the paint was wet. But yeah. hopefully this time I can get out without my phone falling. There's been water. There's been water. There's been water. That looks so cool. There's been water. And I spilled the water. Spilled the water? What do you think, Bradley? Spill the water. Oh. Spilled the water. <laughs> There's a little bit of water on the table. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys can make your own creations. If you do, paint along with me. Um, I am so excited to see your your paintings. So post them in the comments. Um, this will go up on YouTube. Water. Water. Um, Facebook. And that's it, I think. Water. Water. Um, so, please, if you do a painting with me, please, 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 um, share your share your paintings. Take a picture, post it in the comments. I'm so excited to see people um do this with me. Um, if there's a high interest, I'm thinking about um doing some live Facebook tutorials. Um, so, yeah, even add your thoughts on that in the comments. I'm so happy to hear, hear um, what you guys have to say. And if you enjoyed this, if you have any, um, ow, ow, suggestions ow, ow, to make my, my video better, um, yeah, feel free to comment. I'm happy to hear what you have to say. Um, yeah, anyway. Have a good day, evening, night, afternoon, where at whatever time zone you're in, have a good one. Um, we're hey about me? to have some dinner, so bye for now. <laughs> Thanks for joining.